Hello, welcome to Engineer's Box. Now today I've uh, got something a little bit different for you. What we're going to be working on is actually, no, we're not working on the command pack stuff today. Is uh, custom items and the different methods and so forth we can use to achieve this. Now, if you've been watching my creation of this custom IC2 pack, then you'll know that I use a specific way of doing items known as the loc name way. Now, it uses a method of taking an item, so say um, we give ourselves a bowl um, with no damage. So what you do to change the name of it, display and then name with the tag, that's what you would normally do. So you could have like, we'll create test. So now we have a bowl with test. But the problem with that is that's the same as renaming it in an anvil. Now, if you want unique items that you can't achieve by just renaming an anvil, then, well, you just need to change one little simple thing. If you go into these name, you can just change it to LOC name. See? And now we've got this unitalicized name, as you can see. And this one is actually completely separate from all the other items that you can get in the game. The reason for that is because it has its own set, its own um, set of MBD data um, that is not connected to any other bowl in the game, so therefore you can't change it based off that italicized name or the one that you get from an anvil, which is a pretty cool way to do it. I'll go into more detail about that soon. Now, uh, some of the items that I've created, obviously, are in here, all sorts of ingots and cells and crushed ores and machines and things, and they're all really great and really fun to do. But there's a couple of different ways that you could actually achieve this. Now, one of the one of the main ways people like to do it is just taking an item and replacing the texture. This is pretty common, and usually it works and serves a purpose pretty well, considering that most people, all they want to do is, say they want to just have a new axe texture, then they'll just replace one of the axes, maybe the diamond axe or iron, whatever it may be, and then, so be it, that'll be your new texture. However, what I like to do is, rather than taking that original texture, what you could do is, so that is that is one way is you can just replace it. What you could do as well is actually just uh, create a damage value. So if we give, so we can see this diamond axe has no damage. So you could do give ourselves a diamond axe here, um, and we'll give it a damage value of one. Now you can see it's actually got this damage. Now the interesting thing about damage within this game is that each uh, each state of damage is a completely different item so you can actually replace the texture for a specific damage value um, this is really common if you have something like uh, custom staffs or um, all sorts of weaponry and things like that you'd like to add or maybe more tools things like that this is really common you'll find this so that what they'll do is actually there's two states you can have you can have a state where it's damaged and it's actually a breakable tool or an unbreakable tool that's damaged and that's in a completely different set as well now what you normally have if you have something like what i mentioned before where the tool is uh, being used for some staff or another set of tools or something like that then what they'll do is actually add this unbreakable tab down here tag and what this does is it means that it won't actually be uh be able to use it but also it means that any of the original textures actually do not have do not apply to the normal damage values when you damage a tool it actually only applies for an unbreakable tool and this is really cool and you can also do that too and uh the last main method is using the name that i was mentioned at the start so why don't we jump back into the uh, texture pack files, resource pack files, and have a look around and how you replace these textures. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so now we're back in the uh, resource packs folder, as you can see. And I've just created a copy of the default texture pack, the one you can actually find within Minecraft, um, uh, within the actual game files. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to get there today. It's pretty easy to find. Just have a look, search on Google, it'll take you two seconds. Um, but anyway, so I've just created a copy of it. So now if we go in here, we actually look at the... I want to talk about the first one that I um, explained, which was just the normal replacing a texture. So say we want to replace something. So, well, okay. We'll go into textures and let's say an item. 
and I'm going to replace a sword. So I'm going to search for a, a sword. Let's see, I'm going to replace an, an iron sword with a custom sword texture that I have here. I just pulled this one from the internet. It's a bit hard to see since the uh, the, ba the blah, black background makes it a bit difficult to see the rest of the shading and things like that. But uh, it's a pretty cool sword with like a couple of spiky things on the handle and the, the guard. So why don't we replace the iron sword with that one. So let's drag it in. I'll just copy it and paste it in here. Like so. There we go. So let's rename it to Iron Sword. And we'll actually take the old Iron Sword out. Like so. Just delete it. And the new one will just leave it as Iron Sword. Like so. Now, this will basically mean that in game the iron sword will always look like this so if we actually launch up minecraft and have a look we can see that it'll be the same as before so i'll just jump into minecraft and i'll see you guys in a second okay so we're back in game now and uh let's have a look at the fruits of our labor and see whether that sword texture was replaced so as you can see we're in the combat section and the iron sword sure enough has a custom texture that's pretty cool pretty easy to do um not much really going on with this one it's pretty easy pretty simple most people know about it um, but the ones I really want to talk about are the completely custom items the ones which are separate from the original in-game items so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create two types of custom items we're gonna create one uh, with the loc name the LOC name and we can create one based off damage values so let's head back over into the resource packs and get started on that one see you in a second Okay, so now we're back over in the uh, resource pack folder and you can see I'm just in the uh, item textures folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that sword texture we had before, drag it back in, and we're actually going to give it a custom name. So I'm going to call it um, Reaper, just because... Actually, no, let's just call it Alt Sword. There we go, we'll call it Alt Sword. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Minecraft. We're going to go to Models now, Item, and we're going to we're actually just going to find the iron. Actually, we'll do a gold sword. Why not? We'll go down to find the gold sword, golden sword. This actually brings up. These are all the models for the items. Now what we can do with the models of the items is actually give it custom textures based off the damage values. So that's what we're going to do. So as you can see now. We're in the folder, and there's not much here. So we're actually going to create a few things. Um, namely, we're going to create a section which uh, shows what, where the textures are going to be defined, and the second part is where they're going to be replaced and for what damage value. Okay, so now we're actually just back over in the uh, resource packs folder and in the item section and I've actually just created a copy of the golden sword file. Now I've named it alt sword and this is where we're going to do all changes in, and to the model, to the textures and all that sort of stuff. So if we actually take a look inside this, all I've got here is just the copy and what we're going to do is rename the, the actual texture to the one that we created before which is alt sword. Basically, it will use this texture now instead of the standard gold one. If we go over into the golden sword one, the normal, we're going to add another bit of code called overrides. Basically, what this does is it changes the model and the appearance of an item based off the damage value and whether it is unbreakable or not. So in this case, we're going to change the directory to the model to alt uh, sword. And we're going to create the damage. Now, the interesting thing about the damage in this is that it's actually created by the total damage that an item can take, and you divide it through. So basically, in this case, if I want one damage, then it's 1 divided by 32, which happens to be 0 0.03125. So that's our damage for just one hit of the sword. And obviously, we don't want it damaged, so we don't want the damage bar to be showing, so it's going to be an unbreakable item. So we're going to leave that as 0. 
So now that we've got this all set up and we've got the sword um, texture assigned, let's head back over into Minecraft and have a look. Okay, so now if we just take a look at the uh, texture that we've created, the model, actually first we need to just reload the resource packs. Now we can actually view what it looks like and see if we want to make any more changes to it and also how it um, actually renders in proportion to our character. So I'm pretty sure that it should be okay for us at the moment. So what we're going to do is just going to give ourselves a golden sword with a damage value of 1. Now remember the damage value of 1 is equal to 0 0.03125 and unbreakable. Remember that's what we wanted. And there we go. You can see we've created a custom golden sword. As you can see the golden sword is just there with just a damage value. Now if we actually did this without the unbreakable uh, you can see it still appears for it, but the unique thing about this is that with the unbreakable, you can actually get rid of this right there, which is actually really, really cool. Um, but yeah, the this this sword still remains; it's still usable, still easy to be. But yeah, so now we've actually got ourselves a custom sword that can only be um, created using just uh, the damage values. Now you can do a separate, different model or texture for every single one of those damage values total, so 32 in total. Um, which is pretty cool. So why don't we actually check out how to do it with just the names. Now before I told you a little bit about how you can use LOC names to create fully custom um, items that you cannot access by renaming in an anvil. So why don't we head back into the resource packs folder and check them out. See you guys in a minute. Okay so now that we're back in the file system what we're going to do is create a new folder in the Minecraft section called MC patcher. So from there we're going to go inside and create a new one called CIT. Now this stands for custom item textures. Make sure it's all lowercase just like that. So now if we go inside we can actually do our customization in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. Now in this one you can make as many trees of folders as whatever you want. It will find them as always. So in this case I'm just going to create a custom sword like so. We're going to go inside and there's actually a specific file that we're going to want to get from this. Now if I go into my normal folder and I pull a copy of this across really quickly, like so. This is uh, the standard file that you'll use for any of these. Now I'll have this in the description for you or you can just copy it out, up to you. Um, basically what happens is it gives you the um, all of the pre-allocated code and things like that that you need. You just need to change a few things in there to make sure that it gets the item that you want it to. So in this case, uh, we're going to rename it to... Uh, hmm. Let's just call it uh, custom... We'll just call it test sword, because why not? So actually, one more thing that we need to do really quickly is just head back over into our uh, Minecraft, go into our textures and models. Oh, no, nope. Minecraft models item and make sure that we get our other model that we created before. Now you can recreate this and use that in the other one. So basically what you can do, or as I'll show you, you can use the textures as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna copy the model back over into assets, Minecraft, MC Patcher, CIT, Custom Sword. We'll paste this in here, and the other one we'll go and get is back in Minecraft, Textures, Items, Alt Sword. We'll copy this one across as well. Back into CIT. There we go. Now we've got it in there. So basically, when we go into this piece of code, what you'll find is something quite simple like this. Now this is actually in J JSON, so it's really simple and easy to understand. It's pretty, pretty obvious. So what we're actually doing is we're searching for an item. Now you can either search, you can search for multiple things, an item, a piece of armor, or an enchantment. So in this case, just an item and match items, Minecraft. So this way, actually this piece of code right here is exactly the same as you would specify any item in game. So in our case, we're searching for a uh, actually, let's not do a golden sword. Let's do a diamond sword this time. Basically, now that we specified which item we're looking for, the texture we're going to want to use is alt underscore sword. 
and the pattern, the eye pattern. So you can see the mbt.display.loc name. Now the LOC name was the thing that we used to give unique names to items that cannot be just gained within survival. So in this case, the MBT data, and it's a display tag of the LOC name, the eye pattern basically gives you the advantage of specifying what the actual tag is. Now you can have spaces in this, you can have whatever you would like. So in this case, let's create, oh, what's a cool name? Let's call it, um, hmm, Sword of, uh, I will call it Dark Sword, why not? We'll just call it Dark Sword like that. So now that we've got it specified, we've got Dark Sword is the name that we want to call it, Diamond Sword is the one we're replacing, and Alt Sword is the texture. So let's head back into Minecraft and have a look. Okay, so we're back over in Minecraft now. So if we actually just type this in chat, give engineer's box, me obviously, the diamond sword, sword uh, with no damage, and the custom LOC name through the display tag of dark sword, we should get, yep, there we go. We get that custom texture and model that we have from before. Isn't that pretty cool? The custom sword. Now, I hope you learned a few things from these today. All of these can be applied and reapplied uh, to pretty much any item. Uh, now keep in mind that the LOC name one is my favorite by far purely because of the vast amounts of customization you can have for them. Uh, so in the case of just really simple replacement textures, simple modifications or drastic changes with thousands and thousands of new items like other people have created in their vanilla mods, uh, there's, there's a huge amount of versatility with it. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Nothing really more to say, really. Um, yeah, actually, send me some pics if you guys make some really cool items and things like that on Twitter. Uh, Twitter handles below, obviously. And, yeah. So, I guess I'll catch you guys in the nearest of futures.